Greetings my dears in love and light, Nikki Sutton here. Now today I'm going to talk to you real quick about the solar flares that are going on at the moment. Now there was a big solar flare yesterday and what this is, is a magnetic storm that occurs on the surface of the sun. An energy builds up and it's suddenly released and oftentimes it's released in the direction of the earth. Now we don't want to worry too much because our earth is protected by its electromagnetic field and the atmosphere so it's not going to be dangerous to us but there's definitely some spiritual effects that do occur. Now there's a lot of awakenings happening at the moment and having a channel such as mine, Spiritual Awakening, I get a lot of people coming to me about this. They're awakening for the first time and this is often triggered by energetic events, electromagnetic events and radiation. Now when the sun has a solar flare it gives off radiation across the whole electromagnetic spectrum so x-rays, gamma rays, radio waves and so on. Now yesterday there was a solar flare and it knocked out radio communications. Now they exist in, in the upper atmosphere. That's where communication, electromagnetic waves of communication flow. So it gets knocked out. But it does get through to some extent to the earth therefore. And many believe, many know, that there's effects on us. The humans, humans and animals are affected. Now I have first hand experience of humans being affected by celestial bodies. For example, I used to work as a home administrator in a residential home for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. And whenever there was a full moon, they would become anxious, they'd be walking about, they'd be walking around the home, getting upset, feeling dizzy, being confused. And we would say, is it a full moon? Oh yeah, okay, that explains why this is happening. Now, the sun is no different. It's giving off electromagnetic radiation and I'm thinking spiritual energy, not everything have we found, not everything has been found by science yet, a spiritual energy given off by this massive consciousness, the Logos, which is our sun, giving off spiritual energy, which is causing awakenings. Now, why are there so many awakenings at the moment? Spiritual awakenings or awakenings to mortal reality? stepping outside of this paradigm, a shift in consciousness, a raising in consciousness and thinking, wait a minute, there's more to life than this. And then people start searching and seeking. Now with the sun giving off this spiritual energy, it's triggering something in people's subconscious minds, a subconscious remembering that, wait a minute, this isn't all there is. This is just a tiny part of existence. Oh, I've just noticed that I'm wearing a top. Last time, that last time I wore it, someone commented that my moles look like the pattern on the top carrying on up there. Lovely. <laughs> so yeah, I just noticed that. Anyway, so this is the large, yesterday was the largest flare since 2005. So that's 12 years since a flare this size. There's a lot of solar activity going on at the moment and as a result we end up with hurricanes, earthquakes, storms, volcanic eruptions, things like that. It's always linked and it's been shown to be linked to solar activity. It's all on an algorithm you see. It's all on a cycle. Things are moving in cycles and when the energy fires up things happen on this planet. But again, not to worry, we're not in danger. But when it comes to our conscious minds and raising the level of consciousness, the energy out there is affecting the energy in the matrix down here. It's all a program, it's all the matrix, it's all being affected, causing our subconscious minds to be triggered 
into spiritual awakenings. And I think that, you know, this is an exciting time. There's going to be more and more awakenings due to these energetic stimulations that are going on. Now, tomorrow or the next day, there's projected to be a coronal mass ejection. Now, a solar flare and a coronal mass ejection, they usually come together. And this is from Newsweek. Coronal mass ejections and solar flares are different phenomena but often occur at the same time when it comes to the strongest solar flares. Both are created when the sun's interior contorts its own magnetic field and the magnetic field snaps like a rubber band. It releases a huge amount of energy into space. The flash of light and high energy particles released is a solar flare, while the solar flare matter from the magnetic contortions are coronal mass ejections. So there's one of these anticipated tomorrow or the next day. Now, many people start experiencing symptoms at this time. Now I know that I've got them at the moment because of the solar flare. I feel like no matter how much sleep I get, I still feel a bit groggy. I know it's not a virus, I don't feel sick in any other way. I feel like I feel dizzy and uh, like I can't get on with things properly, confused, anxious, a lot like the residents in the home I used to work in as the home administrator, feeling confused, anxious, upset. Now, oftentimes, when people experience electromagnetic energy interference from things like Wi-Fi and cell phones and electrical appliances and so on, they feel these same effects, dizziness, mind fog, can't concentrate. I also get a tingling in the skin, an itchiness. I start itching in various places on my body and I think, what is it? Is this mosquitoes or something? So there aren't any mosquitoes and I'm feeling itchy on my body in various points and you might feel a buzzing in your body as well. These are symptoms, as well as dizziness, if I forgot to mention that, of electromagnetic radiation. And people feel that, especially as well near antennas and power lines, people get it. Now the sun is doing this to us at the moment, so you might get those funny symptoms as well. So also, right now, because of the boost that our matrix is getting, our reality is getting with this energetic stimulation, you'll find that manifesting can come quite easily as well. So remember that if you want to manifest some good things, having a, a general happy mind where your mind is calm like a calm pond. I mean, even if a stone is thrown in it, it still goes back to being a nice calm pond. But in addition, when you're manifesting, having good belief in what you're trying to manifest and being grateful, but emotion is the fuel for your manifesting and visualization is the method. I'll do another video on that soon, but manifesting is going to be given a boost. So if you're getting good at manifesting and are starting to truly believe, then now's a good time to practice it. And another thing about being affected by this energy that's coming in, is we are electromagnetic beings. We have an electromagnetic field around us. There's electricity running through us all the time. Our cells communicate using electromagnetic fields. And if this is being interfered with by energy that's coming from out there, then we're gonna feel a bit different. We might be experiencing a boost in things like psychic, and telepathic abilities, but as well as that, we might be feeling a bit off balance, not quite ourselves. Now, our brains are practically antennas for electromagnetic radiation. A study by Dr. Joseph Kirschfink, I hope I pronounced that correctly, of the California Institute of Technology, found evidence of five million magnetite crystals per gram of brain cell. Magnetite reacts over one million times more sensitive to external magnetic fields than any other biological matter. And this means that external magnetic fields directly influence the brain. And this can affect and disturb many functions of our metabolism. So our brains practically being antennas for electromagnetic radiation means that your human brain is wired for it. 
Now your spiritual self, your human brain, it, it's all one thing because we're all manifested in this energetic information based reality, but it's the physical part of you. So take care of your physical self and know that the physical symptoms you're having may be due to your brain simply being a receiver for the kind of electromagnetic radiation that the sun is giving out at the moment through these solar flares. But you can write yourself because you are self-healing. Your body has the template for you as being a perfect healthy entity and you can write yourself and the body is generated by the mind. So remember that, that if you believe yourself healthy, you're more likely to be healthy. So please see my video on how the mind can affect the health of the physical body as well. And that will help you generate good health and try and overcome these symptoms that are gonna be happening. But get plenty of rest, drink plenty of water as well, clear those toxins from the body and do all the healthy things you already know how to do. Now the sun, even though it's flaring up a bit at the moment, and yesterday's flare was an X-class flare, so that's a big one. Remember that the sun is one big consciousness too. Reality is one big, infinite, infinitely intelligent consciousness that you're part of, and others are part of it as well. And if that big consciousness out there is sending us upgrades, upgrades to our energetic information-based reality. That means you're getting upgraded too. And others are gonna be getting upgraded, those that aren't even awakened yet, and they'll start to realize what kind of reality they're really living in and what kind of beings they really are. So don't forget to click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to receive regular spiritual inspiration on your journey through life. Like and share also, because we're raising the mass vibration together. So go now in love and peace.